Hello, my name is Wade Nomura, and this is Rotary Serving Our Community. With me today, I have uh, Gary Dobbins, who uh, has been here before on the show, but uh, looking forward to what you have to say today. Gary, welcome. Well, thank you, Wade. How you been? Been good. How about you? I know uh, you've been busy. Stand busy. Yeah, <laughs> stand busy. busy. Yeah, yeah. A lot goes on in uh, the town of Carpinteria. So. Very good. So give us a little background. Tell us about yourself. Um, Audience have, have maybe not all seen yet. I see. That goes back over 30 years, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Being an elected official uh, for the sanitary district uh, way back when, um, I was at a district meeting and uh, they came in and said, oh, the newspaper went under, they folded. And uh, I said, well, how hard is it to run a newspaper? <laughs> and the next day I had all the constituents of the city going, you said it, how hard could it be? And <laughs> so I started Coastal View News 24 years ago. And, same time I joined Rotary. I've been in Rotary uh, 24 years this year. Wow. Yeah, so wow. It's, uh, it's been a great time as far as the community of Carpinteria, yeah. as you know. You You've represent us. part of it. <laughs> well, it's, Very just, much so. it's, uh, it's a community that takes care of its own and works together well with uh, uh, taking care of the kids and the constituents in the town like that. So. Right. So tell us a little bit about yourself as far as the background. Did you have a background in newspaper and writing not and media? Not at all. Not at all. I was a paper boy. <laughs> that, but, that's um, good. After I uh, got out of high school, I uh, got into the military right away. It was during the Vietnam era war, and uh, I went to Vietnam and spent 18 months in there. Mm, right. Came out of there and uh, didn't go home. Came west. What's that? Find your fortune, go west, young man. Mm -hmm. So I came west, went to Arizona, and I uh, became a civil engineer uh, surveyor for uh, the Central Arizona Project mm -hmm. in uh, Arizona. And uh, then was eventually, once the canal was done, we built the big water canal there, uh, came to California and worked in uh, chemical engineering water treatment, okay. you know, setting up water plants. And then, uh, then, uh, a friend of mine asked if we'd come to Carpinteria to take over uh, managing some property he had up there. It was a mobile home park. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought, wow, perfect place to retire. <laughs> and uh, before I know it, a couple of uh, local volunteers found out that I had a water background and they were having trouble at that time with a, a sanitary district. Mm. And they were going to build a new plant. So uh, three of us ran on a change. Mm -hmm. and evolving and so uh, that's how I became an elected official and okay. uh, served uh, three terms on the sanitary district building the plant. Good for you. And of course all that time I was involved in Rotary. Uh, mm -hmm. Mainly uh, I served under like eight different presidents as a community service so I got mm -hmm. real involved with all the community things Rotary was doing sure. so and uh, many people didn't realize uh, how important Rotary was to the community. I mean, the, the projects that we were doing at our club, not many on the outside the club knew what we were doing, but uh, we did have one um, uh, past president, uh, Kevin Baird, uh, got us involved in the immunization program. And uh, so we started the uh, immunization. That was my first big project with Rotary. And uh, we uh, then won a national thing for uh, immunization mm -hmm. for children. That was the polio, school. the polio, polio. immunization. Yeah, 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 that was big. And um, we did a lot for that and did a lot. And then all the different things that we started evolving for Rotary were just so important to the community. Everything from, um, you know, the biggie, I guess, was the park that you were involved in. That was, uh, <laughs> that was, that was a good one. That, well, it, yeah, it's, we enjoyed that. I guess my point being that um, everything related to Rotary being involved in a community at a very high level, but there was a really a lack of awareness a lot there. There was. Uh, you've done an excellent job of bringing that forward too. Between well, the newspaper and everything else you've done. Yeah, we keep you guys in the paper. Every week, <laughs> Move us you know? to the forefront. Yeah. No, which is uh, definitely appreciated. But you know, overall, the community benefits from it so much. Oh, undoubtedly. I mean, um, and that's what's become important about what you've done here to evolve this. Uh, I. Uh, I have high hopes that the uh, the Rotary International and these people will start being aware that finally a message is out there about what we do, the projects. I mean, um, Cart Maria, as you know, now has three clubs. We can serve breakfast, dinner, or supper now. So, <laughs> True. Um, yeah. 
but each one of them and their own identity does a project. Uh, you've got one coming up now, Casino Night? Casino Night. Bringing it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, you know, that money goes to which organization are you supporting this time? Uh, all goes back to the community. It's all different groups. Yeah, yeah you're, you're doing exactly. the, the whole different group. We on are, it. yeah. We s split it up between different groups in the community that need, need assistance. And then the, uh, the uh, Noontime Club, which was the first club, as you right, know, in right. Carpinteria, they're celebrating 45 years when yeah. Doc started the whole thing. And uh, Well, they got the talent show coming up here. So that's, that's it. A, that's yeah, yeah, that's a yeah. big one. And their talent show, this money, will go to help the music department. Right. And um, uh, there was something else that they were going to help out this year on the... Uh, um, well, they... They've divided the money up somehow. Okay. Music is first. Yeah, and going I with do the schools. That one. But um, you know that's been what them ten years now. They've been doing that, yeah. I think. Just about, yeah. And our friend John Palmentary hosts yeah. it, it, so it makes a John's lot of fun. Still there, yeah. yeah, John's yeah. still there doing that. Good. And then uh, you know, like our evening club, uh, they just got started here recently. Uh, you know, they did a fix up for you over at the Boys and Girls Club. Yeah. I know you're a big part of the Boys okay. and Girls Club, so that was a great that. project for them. And uh, I just recently learned that they've made a deal with the school district now that uh, they're going to start reading. Right. Well, they actually started that program. Yeah. Yeah, that's, it's a great program. And they got some yeah. some people I'd have never guessed. Uh, Donnie Risden from uh, 76 <laughs> is going to yeah. be part of participating. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to get Rotarians, as you know, active and participating sometimes it takes a little pulling you know yeah, yeah. as the old say goes but uh, uh, i think this school project will be a good one for them and and uh, move forward with right. that and that's and that's what's important i mean how many people would be aware of something like what we're talking about right now right. rotary so tell me a little bit about the uh, tv show you're the one that hooked <laughs> me here put me in this seat so well let's hear about i've the been plan in 1990, I got involved here with pub. Well, they could, back then it was public access, and um, Mark King and I were doing a show called Carpentry Alive, and uh, we basically did all types of things around Carpentry. I think we produced like a hundred episodes, and um, and did that. So the city appointed me in 90, 95 <coughs> to be the uh, liaison between the city and then public access. And so I sat on the board with Edelman and all them and Cox. And uh, of course, then everybody was trying to evolve uh, public access right. to, right. Uh, and not to demean SBTV, that's what it is now, but um, we've come a long way. Yeah. Uh, I've been doing that for over 20 years now. And uh, uh, Carpinteria has been a big part of it. Um, we've managed to get some success from um, TVSB doing um, community stuff that we right. need to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the avocado festival and right. such, and uh, so it, it, it's been a lot. And we're in the negotiation process now. I'm working with uh, Eric to work on that to get that involvement going. And I think there was a, a lot of times as the station was evolving that um, there was more community that needed to be set. Mm -hmm. And the idea of bringing forth this show for Rotary was the fact that hardly anybody, you know, the favorite question I have, well, what does Rotary yeah, do? Yeah. You know that. That's the first <laughs> thing out of anybody's mouth. And um, to make them aware of what clubs do, and, and you being a past district governor, you've traveled the thing, all of them have very unique projects. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's amazing the projects that uh, have gone on and the fundraising and um, the beauty of it all. It all goes back into the community. Right. It always does. And, um, and you know, too, about the wonderful projects we do in the other countries, especially right. in Mexico and stuff, mm -hmm. water and mm -hmm. uh, that type of thing. And, um, and you've got more... Uh, Rotarians involved in that, you know. I, this last trip, I hear you took Debbie and a few of those down there. And <laughs> yeah, we always expose people to the great things Rotary does. Yeah, and those are huge opportunities, and it's important. And uh, that's why I was saying earlier that I think that if uh, we would, as the Rotary organization, would focus on being able to relay that and talk about the projects, 
then it would give the public this sense of, of what the worth is and what Rotary it is. I mean, it's mainly made up of business people, but right. they're giving back in right. a very special way. So that's what the TV show is kind of based on to yes. create to that give exposure, it, give a, a, of course. another opportunity. And, and, and you've made it possible that it's not just focused in, say, this. You've got the district involved now. You've got the other clubs that you can invite in and talk about right. their project. Like right. I said, there's so many unique projects. I mean. Obviously, you know more of them than I do, but the <laughs> ones I do know of, uh, they're fantastic there. I mean, uh, down in, uh, in the other county in Ventura and stuff like that, they've had the Cajun Festival in that yeah, one yeah, and yeah. Uh, fireworks and The Mons. fireworks, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, and a lot of people, it, it, just to have the symbol there, Rotary, is one thing, but to know what Rotary is actually doing, that Rotary is putting all that money back in right. to wherever they're represented from, you know. Yep, right. And I know there's been a lot from the Rotary Club in uh, Montecito. You probably know a little bit more yeah. about what their efforts have been to try to help those that are involved in the flood and, True. and mm -hmm. all that. So I know there's several projects in the Rotary Club there. Uh, did they have to change their meeting place? They did. They okay. did, unfortunately. Yeah, they did. They've relocated. Again, it's just temporary. Yes, ideally, sure. they're going to get back into the area as soon as it's less impacted. Yes. Right now, it's yeah. kind of a disaster zone, as you said. So they're, they're going to be important to that community. Yeah. I mean, Rotary will do uh, whatever necessary to help rebuild and, and get things back on the right track again. There's mm -hmm. some great people over there that are in Rotary. They're, that's true. Now, when you approached me about the TV show, you had said that it's something that anybody could do, as in replicate. And we could <laughs> move this thing around the country. Easily. With project models and pilots like we've done with this one here. Sure. Now we've been going for three years and who would have thought that we'd last for three? You probably did, I had no idea. Well, I knew that there was that type of information that needed, Rotary needed to be exposed that way. And, and the reason I think it should move throughout it, every state, every place, because it started in Chicago, has a Rotary. Right. There's Rotary organizations in every one of them. They all should be taking advantage of the services of their access television and this type of thing to get the community aware of the projects they do and what they do in the community other than just having that symbol and while the symbol is important it's also important to know what that symbol is doing in their community and in as a nation type um, they should be aware of it yeah. they should be able to you know get involved and do it well you said um it was interesting in, in Rotary because Rotary is doing so much for the community, so many great things, that the quality that it brings to these access channels makes a big difference because there's not a lot of programming that focused in on what the community needs are and how they're being addressed. Well, it's good quality program. I mean, I could tell you horror stories about the beginning <laughs> of the early days of what we were, we were wanting programming so bad. You know, that uh, it was very easy to get programming up and running. And, um, you know, like I sat on that board with nightmare after nightmare, you know, saying, <laughs> hearing complaints about this and that that was being then. But as the station evolved, the quality became better. Mm -hmm. And that's why someone like the Rotary organizations and the Nationalists should be paying attention to what they can do throughout the country on these particular, because this is all community oriented. Right, right. And, and it goes hand in hand with Rotary. It does, yeah. And uh, programming is important. This is uh, great for all the communities to know. And uh, like you have a district that goes now, where, to Cayucas now? Or is that <laughs> how far? You, we, we go up beyond Cayucas to uh, Cambria, so Paso Robles, that's Delano. San Luis Obispo County. Correct? We go all the way to Death Valley. <laughs> so with that type of thing, you are encompassing so many different communities, counties, True. and everywhere that should be involved in learning that, wow, we can look to Rotary to help if we just uh, uh, go to them. Okay. You know, how many people really realize that, like, when you do your calendar, that's one of your big projects, too, that right. uh, you, yeah. I don't know if you've mentioned or had Rick on, we, but, we, we did, yeah. but that money is diversified throughout the community yeah. in a way. Yep. And when you do things like that, everybody should be made aware of how that is important, you know, that, oh, my goodness, I could apply to Rotary f to get help in some project right. or something, you know, something that is important to a community. 
I mean, we did a, oh, how many years ago we did the thing where all of us got involved with the uh, fire truck for Carpinteria. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, of course, you're fundraising for the park. Very true. The um, one thing that I thought, felt quite interesting that you brought forward was the idea of the show, actually doing that. You mm -hmm. had a vision that I never saw. I mean, mm -hmm. I love the idea of it, but that was after you told me. So tell us how you implemented that idea of actually creating a Rotary TV show. Well, I think it was mainly transposing from just being able to have so much in what we call the club scene in the paper mm -hmm. out to a broader audience, to an audience that would actually have a visual on the people that are there in the club. Um, when you put a good visual, I mean, we put a picture in, naturally, your new president of the one club or, or something like that. But this gives exposure to your guest, and people then can have a visual and know who they are in the community. And, um, you know, I mean, we all have our pens, and you have yours on, and, mm -hmm. you know, we have all those. I've been to many rotary functions where that's the biggest thing is having that. But it's also being able to identify that Rotary does give back in so many different ways. That is, that is and it, get, this gives it a visual venue. You know, you've got, you've mm -hmm. got a person to picture, like a new club president. We've got a club president now. They'll go to say, hey, what can Rotary do for us? Or how can we get involved in that? You know, and every time you elect a new one, and what is it, June is step downs? Right, right. So you get a new president stepping in. He's got new ideas. He's got something to do. But the people get a visual on knowing that individual and then being able to find um, have you been able to put much on here about some of your projects in Mexico? I definitely or? so, yeah, yeah. See, that's important. It, I mean, been doing that's a, a visual it. that True. they can't get from print or anything right. else. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. It's, um, it's important to add that element. I mean, when they see you putting in a water supply system mm -hmm. down in a village or down in a small community, it gives them, wow, he traveled there? Mm -hmm. And then to see what you're enduring to go there to accomplish that mission to help for, that for Rotary on behalf of yeah, Rotary too. Yeah. It's, it's a it's a huge footprint that Rotary has. Doing and that. and that's a, again why throughout the country they all should be capitalizing on getting something going on programming right. from it because it, it's just a benefit. Now we created this originally as a pilot to as a model <laughs> yes, for others we to did. replicate. We did. Unfortunately, I think there's only about two or three that have <coughs> kind of taken taken hold. Only minor, but nothing major. This show, by the way, for your uh, knowledge, we're in over 20 countries now. Wow, <laughs> so that is wonderful. It's, See, it's, that's... it's been it's been very large. Unfortunately, we're not getting the people replicating the the model that we created. So yeah, yeah, that's that's one thing that I and, don't know how we're going to grow that. Probably we've got to get some way for the insight to come to those in the hierarchy. In each state, there's got to be a way of getting to uh, those individuals that have uh, been involved in Rotary that realizes Rotary needs this type of uh, show, True. this type of yeah. a programming to go. Mm -hmm. um, it's not hard once you they uh, just take it and run with it. I mean, all they have to do is go to their... Uh, facilities and say hey we're doing this in the community and obviously you could travel to any of them to help them set up the right. way to do it for I sure. mean every one of the states uh, elected district governors for their areas mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. have representation at a hierarchy mm -hmm. um, but as far as the national especially Chicago Chicago should be embracing a, a program uh, I, I don't know how to get a, uh, this in front of them but this type of model should be shown to them in their big tower there in Chicago and, <laughs> and, and realize that this is uh, getting out in a, in a different way that Rotary hasn't had. I mean, what, are we 100 years old now? And, yeah, and, right. and there was never this type of uh, exposure hmm. to, um, to give people the details of what Rotary is about and right, what they right. do. So, so definitely a, a venue that pretty much remains untouched. Well, I know you have insight to uh, meet some of these people, mm -hmm. but I think maybe the way it might go now is to try to get presentations to them when you're doing some of your conferences or some mm -hmm. of your places where they, they're meeting these right. people. 
and maybe showing, uh, you know, segments of this up on the big screen, that, like when you go to mm -hmm. these conferences of what Rotary is being uh, exposed to as far as now having a, another outlet to tell people what they're doing. Uh -huh. That's and that may be the only point. way to get it off the ground more. I mean, we're doing well here in our immediate area, but there's no reason that the other areas shouldn't be doing it, too. No, I agree. I agree. And I thought it would catch on a little bit faster than it has, too. It just hasn't done so. I went to, um, interesting story, I went to um, Atlanta last year for the convention, mm -hmm. International Convention, and they had 34, 35,000 people there. <laughs> and I was coming down an escalator when somebody was coming up. I believe she was probably from Taiwan. She had an Asian accent. She looked at me, and I knew she didn't speak any English. She's staring at me. She goes, TV, 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 TV. Wow. <laughs> so I guess they, they are seeing it out there. Yes. So it's, it is good. Well, and, and that's what I mean about if when you're going to these conferences, if, if we can get more of this exposed to these people to right. see what we've done with right. it. I mean, you know, needing program and everything for uh, Taiwan, Japan, all they scream for it. And rosaries are big in those true. countries, as you know. Yeah. And, you know, you've been to Mexico where, you know, they're like royalty, the business people yeah. that are involved yeah. in rotary down there. And if they could show this type of thing, they love getting their makeup on and getting in front of a <laughs> camera, you know? Very true. You know, I mean, it, to them, it's a, it's a venue that uh, gives them a large exposure. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I think what well, the best thing to do is continue to try in your travels to uh, promote that or even set it up so that when you're at these places that maybe you have a display booth that can run episodes yeah, yeah. and uh, and have it as, as that type of a tool. Now, some of the f negative feedback I get, those people that were the, quote, naysayers that say, oh, no, no, no we, we don't want to do it. It's too much work. Tell us how easy it really is. <laughs> I mean, how did you get me here? It was pretty easy, I'd say. <laughs> how is it when you've got a built-in script? I mean, you yeah. don't have to go outside at all to be at any type of script to do the producing of the show. Yeah. You have it all built in. You have directors inside every club. Yeah. There's a community director, like I was talking earlier. Yeah. That was what I did for eight years under eight different presidents. <laughs> and... So you have the ability to have those people in those positions each year when they're doing that, to have the script there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. just what we had this last weekend where the hazardous waste. You had all those Rotarians yeah. out there wearing their jackets and unloading truck and throwing junks into yeah. you know, the bins to haul away right. a trash big haul. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's not difficult at all once you... Uh, you know, a, a district governor could have uh, all this material come into him on a pretty regular basis. What's your club doing? Yeah. You know, you guys travel as far as district governors to every club, and they report to you. They take surveys all the time. Well, what's your club doing or what your uh, fundraising and everything? So it's all coming in. And then it's just a matter of going to uh, an access uh, uh, network like this and and showing what community service is going on because they want this mm -hmm. This is the type of good programming mm -hmm. that this type of station needs You know, they need to know what's out in the community and what the community is about good. So it, it, it it's not difficult, hmm. you know, I mean you could even change up host in a way you've taken it upon yourself but I mean every different district yeah. governor who has to travel constantly yeah. can say okay well, let me know what your club's doing. Yeah. yeah. And you've got the information built in. That's so true. it's not it's not a difficult task at all. And then you have one of these wonderful volunteers and these people that true. work at these access yeah. televisions. That's very true. That um, they enjoy knowing and learning how to use the and operate the equipment and bring a broadcast out. <laughs> so how do you find a, a Gary Dobbin? Somebody <laughs> that's able to go to a studio and, and be able to, quote, sell the show. Um, well, what, I what think you're you doing it. I, I, I think the best thing is, is like I said, is uh, is we need these people to um, to see presentations. I mean, like uh, I know you teach a lot about Rotary at different conferences. Well, possibly what they need to have is a class on evolving this type of thing. They need sure. to have and show the presidents and the incoming people and officers. Sure 
that this is the type of thing that you should, you should work for in your club and in your community. Find out. All you got to do is call, make a phone call and you can find out any of this type of access community to television and, um, and then go down there. So I, guess, I guess they could even use uh, one of these shows. Exactly. Showing them what the model's about. And use it as a model. So, you know, when you have these conferences, have a presentation of, of what these can do. I mean, you know, as you evolved and were teaching classes, that's an important part of continuing in Rotary, mm -hmm. is for them to understand as a president, okay, this is what the model is about. This is what it has to do. Yeah. So maybe the same thing needs to be done at these things, at these national conventions and stuff, is have that type of presentation. Yeah, maybe, maybe actually just looping in <coughs> a show or something like that to give people opportunities. And give them the understanding that it's not difficult. You know, if you've heard the question as it's difficult, it's not. There's no difficulty in finding people like this that work here and, and the access television part of it that want to be That's part true. of the community. That's true. They've I mean, they want to be a valuable part of the community, mm -hmm. too. So, um, you know, it's not a difficult chore. Very true. So, so I, get a program. <laughs> get, get a program. <laughs> I like that. We, um, I would say, took a look at the, the TV part when you, when you approached me. And one of the things I thought was going to be difficult, I knew I can come up with four or five, maybe ten shows. But now that we're approaching, you know, the 90, the 100 show, Congratulations. Oh, things, and things still keep coming up. Rotary does some pretty amazing things. It's always going to be. Amazing. That was a vision that you had, not me, because I could see this fraud. I couldn't see the big picture like you did. Well, once you look at Rotary, and you know this from uh, going it, every president is encouraged, incoming president each year, to come up with his own, his own theme, his own uh, ideas for uh, fundraising, his own creative things that he wants to help, what yeah, he wants yeah. to do in the community. So it's a constant turnover of new ideas, new, new things to do yeah, within a community. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's an endless supply. I mean, you're going to get a whole new group of bats that you'll be teaching here pretty soon as the new, pr is it June? June. Long, long, long yeah, July there. 1st we start again. Yeah, <laughs> July 1st. So you'll start anew. So there'll be a whole new bat, yeah, true. whole new setup of officers. I mean, um, a lot of them, uh, the presidents could utilize um, with their community service directors to show them that, right, you yeah. know, hey, this should be an important part of our deal this year. Well, Gary, thank you very much for your time and effort. Wow. I mean, uh, for you to put together a TV show like this, and for me, I'm, I'm honored to be part of your plan. So well, I, thank I you think, very much. I think part of the plan was you being able to reach out to Rotary in the way that you have, because you've gone up a high ladder that that ladder now needs to hold you <laughs> and say, hey, you know, pay attention here. Yeah. This is what we can do. Great. Well, thank you again very much right. for that one. And everybody, thank you very thank you. much. Uh, stay tuned. Take a look at... Uh, our TV show, and make sure that you pass the word around. We want other people to be aware of that and what Rotary does. With that, we will see you next time. <laughs>